In this project we are going to take this old and tired um, power supply and use some components from China to make it mm, a lot more usable. I should probably clean it too, eh? There is going to be a size issue because that thing is larger than the other thing. So that needs to be sorted out too. Eh? I thought it was some old Russian thing, but this looks more like uh, German. Interesting. In case anyone cares to see what's inside there before I take it all out. Well, that kind of stuff. With some very big radiator. The cold. What? What? Is it cold in here? Well, it's me. You just ate those awful old flat screws. God damn. Sorry. So, for some reason. It has a secret second level under the main one. Mm, not sure that I need it. I'm not. But now the <coughs> main part is clean and I can start figuring out what goes where and how it all gets <coughs> back together again. So let's take a break and talk about why am I building this and not buying something that was uh, ready made. So a family member requested this power supply from me and showed me that listing. That was something with the parameters he needed. Uh, it's a $80 power supply that gives out 30 watt volts at 10 amps maximum adjustable uh, and so I was looking at this and thinking about hmm I know several things that I can put together and achieve the same result with a lot um, uh, less money spent because this price $80 will uh, well I have to buy pay the in uh, what is it import tax and stuff on top of this and this will go over a hundred dollars already but if I buy the little pieces and put it together then I can get those without any uh, import tax because they are under a set uh, price limit per piece and also I could then make use of something old that was going to be thrown away anyway, like this uh, old power supply. So the parts that I was going to use are first you need 
the main power supply that provides the power and this is what I picked up for it it is 36 volts maximum at 10 amps power supply that cost about 24 dollars and um, now to drive it and regulate it you need something that will step down its power so I picked this one this was something I saw another youtuber just reviewing prior to the need for the power supply coming up so I already knew its uh, capabilities and this is well you can if you need one you can search by this uh, number it's TPS 3012 TPS 3012 and uh, it cost around $30 mm. This has the display and buttons, output, uh, front panel, plus the circuitry for step down. Um, oh, let's show you the picture. So it's nice and colorful when it's turned on and you can set all the voltages and amperages and so on from the one button. Well, actually there are three more buttons here for setting and selecting and turning it on and off from the front panel here. So this is what the, what the those are the parts that I'm going to use and all together this will cost a lot less than the hundred plus something that the uh, original request would have co uh, cost me yeah so that's what i we are going to continue putting together This weird, not wood material is making some really awful dust. I hope it's not toxic, toxic in any way. Some composite material from the old age. Doesn't look like glass. Yeah, don't know. So now fitting the main power supply unit. And this one. Whoops. And under here. I think I'm going to extend this case from behind a little bit because this doesn't show right right let me just add that it's fairly annoying when snowfall is interfering your video editing don't you think looks kind of fishy, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, that isn't too bad, is it? I think. Oh, 
for a quick job. Hmm. Okay. But this needs to be mounted and I don't have the previously used big uh, frame that was here. So I am going to uh, going to use these, right? Why not drill holes in here and in this? Should work also. I need to somehow mount this on here so it wouldn't move around. Hmm. Let's see. This old power supply will provide us with a nice power connector. So there would be no need for any cables to stick out when it's not being used. So this power supply comes with isolating part actually and it has 300 watt rating. So this little mm, coil must be able to provide 300 watts mm. of AC. But I'm not sure when I use this because if I want to use the third earth, well this also had earthing. Doesn't it matter then that this is isolated but the earth goes to mains? Well, not mains, but you know, ground. And which one becomes neutral and which one is line? After this isolation. Don't know so much about electricity, I guess. Well, if it worked inside the PC power supply, I guess it should work inside here. Mm. If it's really wrong, then somebody tell me. That's kind of messy, isn't it? Should do something more civilized. Hmm. Yeah, that's neater, isn't it? Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe using a lightsaber is actually overkill for slicing a tomato. Hmm. But it's so much nicer. Need a little bit. I need a little bit smaller of this. But I don't think they make one. <laughs> Mech. So next up we are going to connect everything together so that they don't fall apart when they are being moved, transported and so on. This means connecting power supply to the bottom plate and the step down module onto the power supply. We are going to do this the easiest and fastest way for me is to use this uh, steel strap. Yes, that's the thing. It's easy to bend and form the way I need it to be. So let's do that. Feels like those are fixed well enough now. And can move on to the rear power input socket thing. Okay, this looks like everything fitting-wise is figured out and only wiring left, only. Mm.
So, I didn't exactly put Humpty Dumpty back together again, but this power supply seems to be working now. And the display is working. That's great, but we should test the output too. So let's um, let's pick this little light bulb. Because lights are always fun as a demos demonstration. And let's try not to short it while showing. So plus and minus and is it showing? Oh, should now I can set things before I. Uh, turn it on and I can set the things while it's on so this button turns it on and it's showing me it's drawing 0 0.5 watts but the bulb doesn't light up at that low voltage so let's increase the voltage to 3 volts 4 5 Six, seven. No, let's bring it back to four. Let's increase the amperage. How do I do that, please? Okay, this way. Two amps. See, it started to glow. Can you see it? Maybe. No. Yes. Okay. Three amps. Four amps. Now it needs more voltage with the voltage 5 6 7 8 9 10 so works well doesn't it I'm drawing 28 watts right now this was a rather long video so if you made it this far thank you for watching and in the near future I will be moving into home automation and also some virtual reality videos maybe So, come back next time.